Hi guys, in today's video I would like to show you yet another site with free public domain images. So, on this site there are over 150,000 images available to download and create new designs based upon these. If you like this type of videos, please let me know in the comments below and I'll keep creating more, as there are another 150 sites to share, some of which are with old images only and many with modern photographs but all in the public domain, free to download and use for commercial purposes. So let's get to it. This is Yale's University Art Gallery site, which you can find at www.artgallery.yale.edu. All links are in the description field below, so make sure to check that after viewing this video. To navigate to image collections, mouse over the collections tab and on the very bottom click search the collection. So as you see there are over 180,000 results, but some of these are text results only. So to filter them out, on the left hand side we have many filters to refine the results. Click on the image available, mark down the box with yes, and we are down to over 153,000 results. I would like to refine these even further, so let's go to the department. So based on just looking on it, I can easily see in what category are the most images. And in the numismatics department, we see that there are nearly 55,000 results. So check the box with numismatics and let's check the date made filter too. So you can change the dates using the slider. I will put 20th to 21st century. To apply this filter, please click view button. And as you see, we are down to 9200 results. So let us dig a little bit deeper and jump down to culture filter, choose American, and we have narrowed it down to over 1400 results. Let's go to the first result. Open link in a new tab. Just down below the image there is a hyperlink called public domain. So we see the two hyperlinks for download. To download JPEG files in the best available size, just click the download presentation size image, the first link, and download it from here using right click save image as. Right, the second link, the download full size image is for TIFF files. And once clicked, it will prompt you with use of the reCAPTCHA feature. Right now I see that I've clicked everything, just click verify, submit query, and the download will start automatically. So as you see, there is a TIFF file, its size is nearly 20 megabytes. You know what to do, I've already downloaded this file. So if you're into coin designs or you wish to get into there are many things which you can create based on vintage old coins by using vector graphics editor like Adobe Illustrator, Affinity Designer or a free open source software like Inkscape. I will show you a few examples of the works created based on the coin images. So the first example is on the site called Fine Art America and this is a collage. As you can see all source images used in here are in the public domain. The guy he is uh, probably cut it out of something, the penny farting also, and the coin as well. The next example, it's on Redbubble, and we can see a vintage Soviet coin clock. So basically um, a vintage coin image has been used in order to do that. If you scroll down below, you will see much more designs from this particular designer based on old vintage coins. So a third example is on the site called Creative Market and here we can see a vector art. So th there are 10 ancient coins in here and this is part of a bundle. All the links are down in the description field below or in the pinned comment. So there's one more thing which I would like to show you and it's again on Creative Market. You can also use some details from the coin designs which might be extracted and you can create something like this. It says antique symbols, uh, Socrates head. So usually on coins you find heads and various symbols and, and things like that. So that's an extra idea for you. Now let's do one more search. To reset the filters, click clear filters link. Please remember that whenever you resetting the filters, that you need to mark down the image available filter again and just mark down yes, just to exclude the empty results. Let's go to the department filter, 
and markdown prints and drawings. Click show more, markdown prints, and we are down to nearly 22,000 results. As you see here, majority are black and white drawings and etchings. I will apply another filter. So just go to culture and mark down American. Scroll down to the bottom and skip a few pages. I would like to show you a design which I found. So page eight and just scroll down. And here I can see a print which I like. So again, right click, open link in a new tab, click download link and let's check the image quality as you see the image is uh, high quality and you can actually get a high quality large print out of it so to check the license just click the public domain hyperlink and we're taken to a new site about using images so so i would suggest reading all of that information to stay on the safe side as some images they are copyrighted and the searches are including cop copyrighted materials too. So please always make sure to do your due diligence and read all policies, licenses and rules whenever you're downloading public domain materials. In general, all the museum and state funded galleries are very thorough in their checks and all the information is provided in a very clear way. As you have seen in a few examples, the public domain content is clearly marked. All right, guys, if I was able to help you out, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment or subscribe. All that will be very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.